Welcome everyone to Electricity 102, I guess. Uh, I did a basic electricity uh, video. I'll put a link to that down in the description, so I'll call that one Basic Electricity 101. So this is 102. This is a little beyond shore power and your 12-volt battery system. So what I wanted to go over right here is solar. It's a very common option. And uh, let me get up on top of the camper there and I will show you our solar setup, okay? I'll go ahead and take this from the sunny side so the glare doesn't bother you, but all we have here very easily are two 100 watt solar panels mounted, uh, screwed down through the, through the roof very well sealed up with lap sealant and bolted down very secure not going anywhere and the electrical lines are running underneath the panel then coming down over here and those will splice into this one so we have two in parallel I believe my good friend Greg did most of this and I was the assistant then our line runs over here and I will show you over down there it runs with a cable that we've got it protected um, right on down into the pass-through area we put uh, Eternabon tape over the top and those are very difficult to peel up so it's very secure and works like a charm so let me go down and show you where we brought it down through. Okay, the cables come right down through this channel that you see here. And there's two of them here. And we just went right on the inside the camper right there. I have two wasps decided to build a nest. Then we sealed that up so we don't have any leakage. And let's see if we got enough light in here. So we came in right there. And then very simply, we come up over this way. And right on down into an MPPT controller. And as you can see right now, my batteries are 100% charged. And they'll stay that way pretty much all day as long as we have an, even a little light. It'll keep them topped off. Will solar work on a day like this? It is uh, completely overcast and windy. But a little while ago, maybe about 45 minutes ago, I checked my controller and I was at 63% on my batteries and now it's 70% so it is charging and I don't have the uh, truck connected with the 7 pin connector so I'm getting all my energy from the solar so there's just enough light to charge these batteries and what am I running right now the fridge Freezer is running, the clock on the radio, and charging the phone, and charging my laptop. So, yeah, even on a day like this, you're going to get some charge from the 200 watt solar system. And then the lines run back this way along the side, and they'll come out. underneath back in that way very simple there's other lines for the ZAMP controller uh, solar and then we just brought it right up here and into the batteries so we I think we only made uh, one hole in the entire system so it's hooked up to a dual battery system 212 volt lead acid batteries I didn't go crazy and buy lithium and it would run me probably two of those over a thousand dollars. I get about 
one battery came with the camper originally and I bought a second one, an Energizer, I think $58 on clearance at Walmart. So I've had those two batteries since October 2016. Well, the second battery, I think we got that in the spring we put on the solar. So this will provide the runnings on the inside, basic solar, for our 12 volt system. And that, uh, if you're not sure what the 12 volt is, uh, look, check out basic electricity. And that'll tell you what we can run off this. And uh, it really does very well. In the morning, if we don't go hog wild and try to run a whole bunch of things in the morning, we'll still have 80, 70 to 80 percent power just off batteries and just just off the solar recharging the batteries okay and then we'll go over one other option that I carry and we'll do that again in a little bit here okay and another common option is to have a generator now I have a pretty small generator this is a max output 2000 watt Predator Harbor Freight. I've only used it uh, twice, I think. One night uh, freezing temperatures in Bryce Canyon, and I ran it for a few hours when our battery died. Learned to get solar and two batteries. And it will run various things on here. It's been great. Um, there's two 120 volt outlets on here so since I have a 30 amp trailer plug I'm gonna use this it's an adapter from 120 to a 30 amp plug so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just hook up my uh, surge protector to the this good boy and then I'll plug in the regular 30 volt, 30 amp cord right into my 30 amp service and we're going to have more power inside so let me hook that up I'll get it going just to give you an idea all right let's see what we can run in here now the system is plugged in and running on the battery on the uh, 110 right now it's running off the generator so right now one thing that we can use is the microwave it isn't going to use near 1600 watts so it will run fine I can run run that and also the uh, fridge will recognize now that I'm on a shore power it's fake shore power but it will use electricity right now to run. It'll switch over and quit using propane. Now we're dry camping right now, but I, with the generator, I can use the 110 to power that. The other things, of course, all the 12 volt options still work perfectly just as they always did. I can run the TV now off of the 110 power rather than off batteries. Same thing with the radio and I have not tried it yet putting in my toaster oven but we'll see if that uh, runs sometime. I'm a no, I don't really have any need for it right now. The furnace if we used it and the um, generator was running it would use the generator power rather than draw on my batteries to run my heater at night. Now one thing that I could do is I may be able to, I've never tried it with the fan, just to run on low. Let's see if it'll work. Uh, doesn't seem to want to work. I do have a cooling and a heating option here and I'm not sure the heating option. Oh, I see, because it's off. Oh. Did you hear the uh, 
hear the generator kick in. So it's it kicked in a little bit, but I am able to run the overhead fan. Now that doesn't really serve a whole lot of purpose, I guess, just to blow out on the air. But one thing with this small of a generator is I could not really run my air conditioner. This just does not have enough energy, uh, enough wattage output on that. I would blow the circuit and it would just stop. Now you may want to check on your requirements. If you need AC, you could uh, get a larger off you could get a larger generator and you can put in a quick start so that it doesn't pull really hard there's lots of videos about this out there on YouTube guys and uh, you could go ahead and use your air conditioner now the downside of this generator is noise we're in a beautiful state park right now or I'm sorry a national forest and I don't really want to run a generator. There's Linda relaxing. So, I don't want to put up with this noise. No way. But you can hear this one is fairly quiet. And you've got a long enough cord you could put it away. <coughs> so, in an emergency, that's the only reason I carry this. Is if I had to have it and that's only been in freezing weather. So, from Pike National Forest, we are at Riverside Campground, and just got here a while ago. Wanted to share those things with you. Uh, please be uh, very uh, cautious about using generators uh, in a campground. They're noisy, and it just is not common etiquette to run those. Most places say you can run it from certain hours of the day, usually up to about 10 p.m. And uh, I recommend you please stick with that because it is noisy and it's just plain rude in an area where you want to have it nice and quiet. And of course you can't get away from vehicles down the road. <laughs> so, uh, look up solar. I wanted to mention too, you could always get portable panels suitcase panels that will fold up. You don't have to mount them like I did. There's lots of options for solar and also for generators, but those are options that you can use uh, to further enhance your camping experience if you need to, guys. We run strictly off solar. They don't like the noise of a generator. So look into those options. Uh, it really will make a big difference in your RV experience if you have to have those. Um, but please be very generous uh, or very skimpy about running your generator, please. Thank you much.